Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to From Within Podcast with Eme. How is everybody doing? I want everybody to get their journals because today we're going to switch it up. I said, you know what? I'm going to switch it up on my podcast. I'm not going to just, hello. We're going to switch it up today. So today I wanted to talk about thriving friends and success. So the love of my life asked me a question. So she said to me, would you rather friends that are doing better than you in life? So when you celebrate your wins, it won't give jealousy? So I had to think about it and I had to think about some of the friends that I have that I've met right now in this season of me being an entrepreneur. And the first thing I said was, no, I want friends that are doing better than me. I want friends that are doing the things that I maybe I want to do or I want friends that is going to put me on to something. Put me on to something. Let me learn something new up in this entrepreneur journey that I'm in. So I gave her the story of one of my friends who I've met um, at the Boss Summit. If you haven't been to the Boss Summit, baby, I'm going to need you to go. If you want to start a business, be around like-minded people. Be around people that are doing the thing. So I went to the Boss Summit and Ohavia, I don't know if y'all know her on Instagram, but she's my sister. So Ohavia, she's very well known media okay she has been through some things she has been through some challenges and she is way ahead of me in regards to like speaking and you know and exposure way ahead of me nba games bet like that girl has been doing the things so i said when i met ohavia it was more so like yo sis what like i see you I appreciate you. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'm like, appreciate me. You are honored to meet me. It's an honor to meet me. How? Me? I, it's an honor to meet you because you've been doing the things. But when see people see your potential and what you got going on, they're going to recognize that anyway. So we was having a conversation. And the conversation went a little bit like this. Yo, sis, what's up? What's going on with the business? What's next? What are you doing? And I told her all like the struggles and challenges that I was going through with my business. Like, okay, how do I get out? How do I get exposed? How do I meet different peoples? How do I get on contracts? And she said, pull out your phone so you could be able to record this. So when you get on a plane, you could be able to write this down. When somebody is doing the things, they ain't got no time to be jealous of you. They really want to see you win for real. And I was like, wait, hold on. She just going to give me this free game? She ain't going to charge me for it? This this lady is is up there. And she didn't. When they're doing the things, they ain't going to charge you for it because they're already where they need to be. Come on. They are already where they need to be. So I pulled out my phone. She was giving me all this free game that I used. Right? All of these contracts and who I need to contact and what's these person's name. When you call this person, speak to this person. Down seven. Okay? When when the phone rang. Like, she was giving me all of this free game and I couldn't thank her enough. But then you have people that are not doing the things. Then you have, I ain't gonna say people, but you know how you got some, some friends that is not doing the same things as you. So when you're celebrating all of your wins... They don't know how to celebrate their your wins with them because they are, they're jealous of you. Let me just say that, y'all. Can we be transparent on this podcast today? They jealous of you and they really don't want to see you win. Damn, some people just want to be who you are. Like they want to do the things that you're doing so they're a little jealous of the things that you're doing. And it might not be personal. It might just be, dang, she's really doing it and I want to do what she's doing. Those are the type of, you need to be around, you need to be around people that's going to celebrate your wins. Celebrate your wins. I don't want to be around people that's not doing the same things as me. And some people, I have some, and I have some people that I am close to that are on the same level as me and helping me out too. So you got to be very, you got to watch what Martin say with your cat eye. Who is for you and who is not for you? Who is celebrating you and who is not celebrating you? 
But be around friends that are successful because they really don't want nothing from you for real. They just really want to see you win. They see the potential that is within you and they really want to see you win. Right? So this is some pointers that I got for y'all today now. Surround yourself with positive people. The power of positive vibes. Let me go on to those networking events with the like-minded people. Make sure you pray about it first. Because now if you don't pray about it, you somewhere that you don't want to be, baby, you're going to be in a position you don't want to be in. Because you ain't praying about that room that you needed to get in. Be around positive people that want to see you win. Learn from each other. Like, she learned some things from me. She never even knew. Hey, this is an app. This is what you do with the app. You got xyz on this app and hey use the app wow i know i never even knew that this app even exists yes like no you may not be doing you may not be on a higher level than them but you still doing the things too as well so you can be able to learn from each other let me say something i learned so much from ohavia like so much to where i'm like okay I know I could do the things. She went through the same challenges and struggles similar that I went through. Same from, she from New York, I'm from New York. I really resonated with her. Be around those like-minded people. Learn from those people. And remember that your path is your path. Their path is not your path, right? So even when I was speaking to her, hey, she went through those challenges and struggles and changes. Her path is her path and mine is mine. And you have to be able to understand that. So some of the things that's happening in her life, I can't expect to be like, oh, well, why didn't that happen to me? No, they are. They are going to happen to me, but it's going to happen to me in my time and with God, in God's time. When God say yes, that means it's a go. And then, so, you know, we're not going to say that we jealous, right? We're not going to tell somebody that we jealous, but the people that are very intuitive know when somebody is jealous of them and know when somebody to don't really want to see them win by the face expressions that they just gave you last week when you said that you want to want, okay? That you were celebrating something and they didn't give you what you was looking for in regards to smile, laugh, cheer, right? So what I want to say is those people who are jealous or those people who feel like, wow, I'm not where they are and I want to be where they are, turn that energy all of that jealousy, all of that envy, turn those emotions to inspiration and motivation. Motivate yourself. Take what that person is doing and say, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing or I'm going I'm to really get to it. I'm going to do what I need to do so I could be, so be where I need to be. Not where she is because her path is her path. We just talked about that. But I need to be where I need to be. So I'm going to use all of this as motivation and inspiration to be able to move forward and whatever I got going on. Also, set some goals for yourself. What are some goals that you have? After leaving the boy summit and talking to Ohavia, baby, when I got on that plane, you talking about I was writing down goals and getting my stuff together and calling these people and emailing and I got to it. Because her inspiration, her motivation that she was pouring into me allowed me to be like, you know what? Let me get all my stuff and all my ducks in a row because she just gave me this free game that I didn't even pay for. And I want to really be able to utilize that free game so I can get to the next step. Set those goals for yourself. You got to want it for yourself. You can't want somebody to want it as bad as you. you you can't be jealous of the next person because you want what they have. They worked hard for that. That's their path. I guarantee you, if you put your mind to whatever you want to put your mind to, you can be more successful than them. But you got to be consistent. You got to want it for yourself. That's when, the, that's when in your mind you'll be feeling like, well, maybe I'm not worth it. And you are. You just got to put in the hard work like everybody else is doing. You got to get around like-minded people. You got to get around like-minded people that is doing the same things as you or higher than you. I want to be around people that are able to celebrate me, not be jealous of me, especially in this season of growth and elevation and transformation and unleashing the power within myself. It's not going to happen for me. So I'm going to leave you off with this little nugget. Be around like-minded people. Stay positive, 
Stay around positive people, people that are pouring into you. Be self-aware of who you tell your business to and who you celebrate with because everybody is not going to celebrate you. Everybody does not care about the wins that you have because they're not winning. Learn from that person that is giving you that free game and know that your path is your own path. I love you, beautiful souls. I hope that this episode gives you clarity on your next steps, gives you clarity on where you're about to go and and who needs to be around you and, and in your circle. Everybody can't go and everybody can't be with you, beautiful souls. So until next time, this is From Within Podcast with...